Well, I'm back with more stories making headlines in the country. And definitely, I'm still your servant, Melads Milo, aka Fuller, right here on The Buzz UG. Now, one of the youngest socialites in Uganda, Sheila Gashumba, is living in fear after she revealed that different people have been sending her threatening messages in her inbox. I'm not into politics. The past few days, people have been sending threats under my social media accounts in relation to politics. Today, four border border riders with passengers with helmets followed my car from my gig till Ginger Road until my driver made a diversion. Are you trying to kill me? And her boyfriend, rapper Rickman Manrik, has also fired back to those who are threatening Sheila Gashumba. He said, my girlfriend is not affiliated to any political party nor into politics. She does her own thing on TV and host parties, do music PR and so on. Every day, insults are howled at her, but she keeps doing her own thing. Please leave her out of politics. Thank you. Well, there you go. That is Rickman Mandrick defending his girlfriend Sheila Gashumba right there. Well, it should be remembered that Sheila's father, Mr. Frank Gashumba, has been accused by a big section of opposition people to be behind the death of Jakana Naduli, a gentleman who passed on recently, and maybe that could be the reason she's being followed up by unknown people. I'll keep you posted on this story right here on The Buzz UG. Now, President Museveni's government has applied for a loan from Standard Chartered Bank and other commercial banks to be able to finance part of its budget. According to reports, President Museveni's government intends to borrow $1.73 trillion, an amount government says it will use to undertake development and infrastructure projects. However, a big section of Ugandans are not happy with the way President Museveni's government keeps on borrowing money and at the end of the day, Ugandans do not see where the money is going. It should be remembered that a few months ago, President Museveni said Uganda is already into a middle income status and the big question on everyone's lips is, with the way Ugandans are suffering right now, are we really into a middle income status? Well, the latest news I'm receiving right here on the Buzz UG, we have again lost another university student by name Nsubuga Edgar Williams. He was a 50-year student of medicine and surgery at Makere University. He succumbed to sickle cell disease and it's been disturbing him for a long time. It's very unfortunate that we are still losing more university students, adding on the dozens we have so far lost in this year. It's so bad. May his soul rest in peace. Well, there you go. That's the latest update I have for you right now on The Buzz UG. And many thanks for subscribing to The Buzz UG. In case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you.